What is a short sale and what are the top seven mistakes that a buyer makes when they are purchasing a short sale? A short sale very specifically is when the seller owes more on their mortgage than the property is worth. They are short in the difference between the sales price and what is owed. So therefore they have to go to the lien holder and get a release from the lien holder holder in order to be able to sell that specific property. So what are the mistakes? What are the pitfalls? What are these buyers doing? Well, a short sale, generally speaking, because it's in some type of distress, is going to be a good deal. Buyers want to come in and they want to lowball even more. You don't need to lowball even more, and the bank's only going to accept a certain amount off of the price. So don't be a Scrooge. Don't lowball even more because your offer's not going to get accepted. The next thing that happens, and I'm going in order of importance here, so the worst ones are at the end. They end up skipping the due diligence. You should always get a property inspection done. You want a full property inspection, structural, mechanical, electrical, pest, whole house, to ensure that the item that you're purchasing is going to be worth it and is in good enough condition. The next thing that happens is they don't hire a real estate professional who has experience with short sales. This happens to all buyers. Buyers go hire agents who they like. You should hire the best agent for the job who has the best experience doing that particular job. Lenders have a long approval process, and so they're ignoring that approval process, what it's gonna take, the hoops that they have to jump through. The seller has to put together a documentation that shows the financial hardship, their tax returns, their pay stubs, their bank statements. They gotta submit all that over to the lender. Then someone in the loss mitigation department reviews the whole package. They order a price opinion against the property and they go, okay, what's the loan? What's the property worth? What's the hardship? And can I approve this? That process is very cumbersome. And then they come back to the buyer and the seller and they'll ask a ton of amazing questions, which leads into number two, but we're not quite there yet. Number three, they ignore the condition of the property. A short sale, because the person is in distress and they are behind on their finances, they may not be in a state where they could help with closing costs if you're a first time home buyer, to help with paying down your interest rate or buying down the interest rate. Plus, the condition of the property may not support the type of loan that you're trying to do. Once again, these are distressed sales. Then if the lender makes a call out on your side and says, hey, the roof needs to be replaced, you as the buyer have to be prepared to come out of pocket to do something like that. So ignoring the condition is a big one. Okay, we're getting into the top last two. They underestimate the timeline. So like we said, before the lender has their own approval process most of the time the short sale process is extremely slow so instead of it being a normal transaction time which takes like 30 days you could expect with a short sale for it to take 30 days 60 days 90 days six months we've done so many short sales that we've had short sales that went on for a year and a half i do believe banks have improved since then but don't expect this to happen in a short timeline so if you're a buyer that's pinched because their lease is coming due or they got to move there because they're getting relocated due to their job do not purchase a short sale this is for the buyer who has flexibility in regards to their closing date and it's also why they're going to get a deal last but not least what happens is they get emotionally committed. What, Anton? What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the buyer who purchases a home, generally speaking for them, it is an emotional purchase. And if you're overly emotionally committed to something, you have to realize that a short sale may never happen. The lien holder does not have to approve the short sale they can force the seller to come up with money or do things that they don't want to do. So as a buyer, you have to have an open-ended time frame and not be so emotionally committed because you may never get it. The bonus one, a lot of debt has mortgage insurance against it. And please realize when there's mortgage insurance against the property, it's not just the lien holder that has to approve the short sale but it's also the mortgage insurer. 
and because the mortgage insurer is going to have to pay out and the mortgage insurer if their portfolio is underperforming may just deny the short sale so i know this is really complex and we are literally just scratching the surface here if you have specific questions please reach out to us you can drop them in the comments you can send us a message we're happy to answer your questions happy to help you out in distressed properties and help you find a deal